account-based targeting is becoming more and more popular in the B2B advertising space. Rather than putting together general lead generation campaigns and hoping that your ideal companies will fill out the form, more often companies are putting together lists of ideal partners that they would want to work with, people that they would like to have as customers, and then targeting them directly. There's only really one advertising platform that allows us to target those companies easily without having to individually seek out those companies through the targeting options in the platform, and that's LinkedIn. They've created a new targeting option called Accounts Lists, where you effectively put together an Excel spreadsheet of all of the ideal companies you'd like to work with, upload it into LinkedIn, and then you can target them easily in your campaign without having to spend lots of manual time searching for individual companies within the targeting options. So let's go through how you set those up. You hop into your LinkedIn advertising platform. You can see the campaigns are listed here. Up in this top navigation, you'll go to Account Assets, and you'll click Matched Audiences. Here we're on the Website Audiences tab. It starts you off here. These are the people who are cookied based on your LinkedIn Insights tag. So what we want to do is come over here to this grayed space of Uploaded List Audiences. Once you click on that, you'll be able to find all of your uploaded lists, whether they are accounts or contact lists. To upload a new list, simply click on the Upload a List button. It'll pop up this thing here, where if you haven't uploaded a list before, I highly encourage you to download the account template first. Once you click on this, it'll automatically download an Excel sheet that will show you the overall template that you should use. Once you have the Excel template open, you'll see that the company name and company website are respectively in columns A and B. Leave the headers that are already in row one, but then add in any companies that you need with the company name in column A, company website in column B for any of the accounts that you want to have. Then save as a CSV and go back into the LinkedIn platform and you can name the file what you need it to be. So we'll just call it new accounts list. We'll click the upload file and it will open up a file here. You click the file that you want, hit open, and you can see that it will show up down here. It will show in a little gray box the account that you want to have uh, linked there. And then once you click the next button, it will bring up this window that will show you that it is populating your audience. It says that it will take about 24 hours to process. I've seen it take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, so just be patient if it doesn't show up right away. Once your audience does populate, it'll come back into this Uploaded List Audiences tab, and you'll be able to see all of the audiences that you have in place. You can see the name and then the source, and that's how you can tell that something is an account list or a contact list, and it'll show you the match rate of how many individual users or accounts that it matched to, and then the actual size of the audience later on. Now let's talk about how we actually apply this to a campaign. So once you're in the LinkedIn interface, simply click Create a New Campaign. Go through all of the steps that you need to to get to step three of four, which is the audience creation step. Once you do that, in this section at the very top, it says Use a Matched Audience. You go to the second option here. It says Target a List of Accounts or Contacts. You can pretty easily come down here and click See Full List. And then if your naming convention is squared away, like it has in this account, it, we start off with accounts at the front to know that these are the accounts lists. Further down, you can see the contacts list and have those squared away. So all you have to do is click the checkbox next to it. You can see down below that we have started targeting this audience. And up in the right-hand side over here, you can see that it will show you the actual matched audience size that you'll be able to target in your LinkedIn campaigns. Once you're finished with that, just click Save, finish setting up the campaign the way that you need it to, and you're off and running to target your accounts lists. The best part is that accounts lists are compatible with all of the other targeting within a LinkedIn campaign. When you upload a list of accounts, it's going to put together literally everybody that it can find that works at the companies that you've put in that list. So if you're targeting a really large corporation that has people from intern status all the way to president, vice president, owner, something like that, you've got a wide range of people that you're reaching out to. So you can start to layer in some of the other targeting like job function, job seniority, member age, skills, all of that kind of thing to be able to narrow down to the right decision makers and influencers within those companies so that you can really maximize the higher cost LinkedIn CPCs that you're going to get, but you're going to be targeting the exact right people based on their company profile as well as based on their individual job profile to make sure that you're targeting the people that you want to reach within those companies.
So that's how you use accounts lists in LinkedIn. Hopefully this will make your account based targeting a little bit easier, save you a little bit of time on finding those individual users within companies to target and start to make your lead gen efforts that much more profitable. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos.